<laughs> okay, this is Calicat the Calicaster, and this is a review of Loki episode four, the Nexus event. Uh, story opens with them having apparently killed the, one of the agents who was missing after she went crazy. The agent had been zapped with, into the coffee shop in, in, in the previous story. The uh, big husky black agent lady, uh, she's having second thoughts. The, uh, the, the skinny sort of lady, uh, I think is, I think is the, the, the lead, uh, yeah, the director lady, uh, is, is, uh, yeah, the one from, <laughs> yeah, I forget what their names are, but yeah, um, we have Owen, Owen Wilson's character, and uh, and we have and we have Loki's character, and Loki's character and and Sylvie are trapped on the planet that's falling apart, and then they're rescued, and basically they they take them back to the TV and throw them in prison, um, but uh, then then Loki tells the Wilson character that it's all they're all variants, and that they've been lied to, and and the uh, when when. The Olson Wilson guy goes to the, the agent lady. She seems to know too much. Uh, then he finds out that she actually the skinny lady. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the uh, the uh, the lady from uh, animation lady. <laughs> yeah, uh, she finds out about the um. Uh, she, she he swaps the uh, controllers with hers and uh, finds out that the other lady's been killed by the. By the, by the evil lady. Meanwhile, the other, the big husky black lady allows the variant of Sylvie to escape to that rocks cart place again. So it's kind of like a Walmart um, uh, uh, to show her the future, and then they come back. Apparently, uh, then they set up this uh, elaborate plan to try and uh, escape. Um, not sure whether it actually is an escape or not, or whether they've killed Wilson's character or not. Spoilers. Uh, it, uh, but uh, but there's a final fight at the end, with all, uh, very similar to the Star Trek episode, in which they discover that the timekeepers at the base of the building are actually uh, spoilers, uh, robots that have been put there to play them. Uh, the robots uh, threaten them, and then and there's a fight with the skinny lady and uh, she apparently kills Loki, but Sylvie is captured. Uh, there's uh, then Loki wakes up in another uh, reality, thinking he's dead, and he's in hell. And he meets up with what appear to be three other variants: a black variant of Loki with a Thor type, similar to a Thor type hammer. Another one that's a younger one that is sort of goth looking, that's carrying a, a pet dragon or something. And one in the back that's like an older version of him with the horns going this way. And so, uh, so they uh, are, are they the timekeepers? Where are they? What's that about in the post credit sequence? So, if you didn't see the post credit sequence, you missed out on that, on that weird scene there. Obviously, they wouldn't kill him only two episodes from the finale. There's two more coming up. So, so yeah, um, except for the two scenes where there was a Calcat type character. Uh, in the in sec second one, mainly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not in the first one. Uh, in the, uh, yeah. So, uh, we have, um, yep. Uh, do we have, uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's just a rundown of it. I mean, it's, it's, um, what did I think of it? Well, it was, it was interesting. It was, uh, uh, they did go back to the, to that sort of whispery dialogue at one point in there. Well, they were whispering their secret agenda to each other. But uh, that wasn't as bad as in the Winter Soldier thing where it was 80 yard outside and you really could not understand them. It was a little better than that. Um, but yeah, they've, uh, well, clearly they've this whole thing is probably in front of a big green screen panorama thing. So. Except for the parts with the big elevator that's apparently somewhere back east. And they just photoshop uh, computer generated in in a bunch of uh, they photoshopped in a bunch of towery things and had them be out there and uh, made it look like it was an alien art deco thing, Kafka esque thing. Uh, 
uh, it does beg the question that if, are the, if the Time Creepers are just they left robots behind to do the timekeeper's bidding with technology and weapons that can travel through entropy and stuff. That that means that they can like do anything, really. It's kind of odd. <laughs> they can do anything, um, and it also begs the question: at the end of episode two, when the variants were destroying the entire timeline, that's not even addressed again. So did their going to Lamar Lamaris cause that not to happen? Or is that happening? Because, yeah, are they in a different timeline each time they go out and come back? Because that was destroying the whole thing, and now it's not. As if this episode takes place before Lamarius and the other one. It doesn't, though. So, yeah, it doesn't. It's not supposed to be before. It's chronological. But, yeah, are they... Or is the entire thing a Brazil type dream at the end where he's being tested over and over again then that might explain that that the entropy wasn't working or was working or whatever really they switched to the next dream that they were having if it turns out to be a Brazil type dream and it's all in his head that would be annoying and also <laughs> also uh, might work um, but it makes everything that happened to him kind of moot if that's the case, uh, yeah, they probably shouldn't do that. Um, but that's where they're going, so it's like a reverse of WandaVision, and it's where it's literally her dreams and fantasies to create a town, possess a town. And this one, it's more like an evil time organization has possessed a bunch of people to work for them to go through time and mess with stuff uh, because they can. Um, it's kind of a similar theme that magic is being used to do certain things in the timeline. Um, it, it, I'm surprised they haven't gone with the obvious uh, 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 idea of having them reappear in the late 60s and have them visit Marvel Studios and have walk in on <laughs> and walk in on the creators of Marvel Comics just to be really, really surreal. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, they're not. Probably not going to do that. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, these short series are a little better than the other ones because they can make just a big mini series out of it. Um, I guess their their TV show stuff at Disney Plus is a little better than than their stuff was when it wasn't on Disney Plus. Um, that was that, yeah. So uh, that's uh, well, we'll see next week, I guess, <laughs> on Loki. Uh, yeah, this was the Nexus event. So if the timekeepers are the lizards, then do they... It's destroying one of them, ripping off his head, all of the Sentinel and the X-Men. <laughs> is that a... Is that a... It was a robot. Is that a... Um, yeah. Gonna do anything. Maybe zapping them doesn't kill them or something. I thought what they were gonna do is that when the girl... I thought what they were gonna do is that when the girl, the skinny girl, takes him down to the, the commander lady, takes him down to the base. She was going to turn into Owen Wilson's character and rescue them. I thought that's what they were going to do. Like, like She's all like, oh, you know, I, I'm actually him. Ha ha, I, I've tricked you. Maybe they're still going to do that, and he's actually taking her place, but I don't think so. 